Today we're performing a wrist arthroscopy, but nanoscope technology can be used not just for intra-articular pathology, for example, the wrist, the thumb CMC or MP joints or the finger joints, but you can also do it for extra-articular pathology, such as carpal tunnel, cubital tunnel, de Quervain's tenosynovitis, or trigger finger. So now we're doing DIUJ arthroscopy. And DIUJ arthroscopy, many of you are saying, how am I going to get into that joint? It's a tiny joint. It's hard to see inside there. So a little trick that we can do with the nanoscope is I'm actually in the 3-4 radio carpal portal looking uh, over at the TFCC. Remember we had a radial tear. And now what I've done is I've taken a needle and you can see I'm underneath the TFCC. So the nanoscope has given us this ability now to get into a very tight spot with extreme accuracy knowing that I'm underneath the TFCC. You can see the needle is now marking my portal for the DIUJ. So what I've done now is I've removed the needle, I've made an incision where the DIUJ portal is going to be, and I've taken some tenotomies or a, s a snap or a mosquito which is curved. I've come over the ulnar head. Remember, we want to avoid any iatrogenic injury to the cartilage. And now you can see with the nanoscope still in the radiocarpal joint, I'm underneath the TFCC. So with confidence, you can now deduce that you're in the correct position. There's nothing more frustrating than putting this in blind and not knowing where you are. But under the nanoscope now, you can see exactly where we want to be with small movements. Now what I've done is I've introduced the nanoscope uh, trocar and cannula system. You can see it's blunt. And now I'm underneath the TFCC. And this will now allow us to get into the DIUJ. I know I'm in the right place at the right time. There's minimal fuss and there's no guesswork. All the guesswork has now been taken out by looking at our portal of entry using the nanoscope. So now all I need to do is take the nanoscope out of the radiocarpal joint and I know I'm into the DIUJ. So now I'm in the DIUJ. And at first, if you're not sure where you are, you might think you're in the wrong spot. But we've accurately done this using the nanoscope in the radiocarpal joint. And here I am underneath the TFCC. And this is that tear that we had. So if I drop my hand, you can see now I'm in the radiocarpal joint. So now I can see I'm in the exactly the right space. And the ulna head is right below me. And you can see we haven't caused any iatrogenic injury to the ulna head. Here you can see the ulna head below us and the TFCC above us. And so this will give us now a view if we wanted to look in the sigmoid notch or if we were doing an arthroscopic wafer procedure, now we're underneath the TFCC and we can debride the DIUJ. So now what I've done is we're now going to make the accessory portal for the DIUJ. You can do this dorsally if you want and have an accessory portal dorsally or what we can do is for example make the direct foveal portal. Now sometimes what you can do is using the nanoscope is actually remember it is flexible so you can come over the ulna head underneath the TFCC and you can see the transillumination in the skin there. And now this will allow us to pass a needle and then pass our other arthroscopic equipment through this. Remember, you want to be careful of ulnar neurovascular structures in this area, such as the dorsal sensory branch of the ulnar nerve or the ulnar neurovascular bundle. But we're pointing to the ulnar aspect, so we should be safe in this region. So now we're in the DIEJ arthroscopy, and what we're doing here is we've taken the small joint shaver, the 1.9. You can see we're above the ulnar head. And uh, what we're doing is cleaning out some space. So we're underneath the TFCC, and we want to see the foveal insertion to ensure that this is stable. So it's a tight space, but the advantage of the nanoscope is that it allows us to see in these tight spaces. So now what we've done is we've done our DIEJ arthroscopic synovectomy. We're underneath the TFCC as we come from radial. Now you can see the foveal insertion of the TFCC is intact. You can see how it how you have the ulnar curtain essentially inserting into the fovea.